I will explain exactly how to use NordVPN on a MacBook. Make sure you watch the entire video. To connect to the fastest VPN based on your area, you want to click that top right button that says Quick Connect. Because I'm in the UK, it's going to connect me to a VPN in the UK. And if I want to disconnect from the VPN, I just have to press Disconnect. And you can see that that connected screen with the green lock went to Not Connected. To connect to different areas, you have this beautiful map. So if I want to connect to France, for example, I can click on connect to France and it's automatically going to connect me to France. Or you can connect to a country in the left hand side. And if I want to connect to, for example, Australia, I just search Australia and you can see five different cities and I can click on Australia. To connect to a different country, you have those three dots next to Australia. I can click on that and you can see that green light, I'm connected to Perth. And if I want to connect to Adelaide, I just click on Adelaide and it's finding me the best server. It's going to take a little bit of time and then we're connected to Adelaide. And in this section, you can choose to pause your VPN for five minutes, 30 minutes or one hour. And there's a few special servers where if you want even more connection, I can search double VPN. I can click on double VPN. And this is giving me a super, super secure VPN and you have up to 87 different servers. So I can click to the UK and this is going to make my VPN a little bit slower, but it's super, super secure. So if you deal with sensitive information, it makes sense to use a double VPN. And if you want another form of secure VPN, especially when you're torrenting, you can click onion over VPN and there's only two countries, which is Holland and Switzerland. So if I click on quick connect, it's going to connect to Switzerland using a special Tor server. In the top left of the app, you have all these icons and this is where you can access different things that NordVPN offers. This section called Threat Protection Pro is available from the Plus plan. This allows you to stay safe online and it checks websites for scams and phishing and stops web trackers and protects you from downloading malware. Let's just set it up quickly. You just have to click Setup click setup protection pro and here you need to do okay then you want to click on your system settings and here you want to do the slider to the right and then you enter your password click okay then click done then click continue do add proxy configuration then do allow enter your password again update settings in order for it to work you have to restart your browser now this is going to automatically scan the files that you've downloaded to check for malware so we just have to do enable cloud-based threat scanner. Then you want to click on your system settings. Then you want to tick NordVPN, do your password. In order for it to work, we have to quit and reopen. And then we want to click on NordVPN Threat Protection Pro. And we have to go back to the threat protection section. And then we want to click on turn on when it says anti-malware. Then to protect yourself from dangerous ads and dangerous websites, we want to click on DNS filtering. Now everything has set up correctly regarding the threat protection pro. And now whenever you download a file, it's going to show up in anti-malware. And if it's a bad file, NordVPN will protect you. Same with advanced browsing protection, blocked and flagged threats will show up here. Ad blocker, and you can see that the websites I'm on right now, there's blocked attempts in order to send ads. And here in settings, if you don't want to have any of the security settings, you can just turn them off very easily. Here we have MeshNet. So what this is, is if you have a friend who has NordVPN and they don't actually have to have a pay subscription, you can easily send a file to them securely. If I click on that, I click on continue, I click on continue again, I click on continue again, I click on turn on MeshNet. And that's it, very, very simple. Here we have the dark web monitor and this gives you alerts if your sensitive data is publicly exposed online. So it's gonna scan the dark web for your email that you can add and it's gonna say whether or not that email had any data breaches associated with it. Here you can add up to 50 emails. And here one of my emails was compromised on JFIT where the breach database was compiled from an unverified source posted on hacker forums. In this section, we have the presets. And what this does is this will allow different configurations with shortcuts to apps or websites for secure one click access. You will set this up if there's a specific country on Netflix that you always stream from. So if I want to do add new, then I can name it Japan streaming. And then with connect country, I can go on Japan. Here, if you have a specific app you want to use, you can do add app and you can pick whatever app you want and then save preset. And you can see I've added Japan streaming. And lastly, we have an overview. So it's saying how much you've connected for. It shows your IP address. It says how long you've been connected for. And the longest connection time for me is three weeks. In the bottom left corner, we have the settings. So you can choose whether or not to launch NordVPN on startup. You can choose to stay invisible on a local network. 
So to make you invisible to stuff like computers, printers, TVs and airdrop. We have auto connect where you can connect to a recommended country that you want. And here we have kill switch. So what this feature is, is this is where the app will automatically be quit if the connection to NordVPN is dropped. So if you have a specific app they use for work, then what you could do, yes, say I don't want to do the app store, I can do okay. And the app's automatically gonna be quit when my connection drops. And here where you can add your DNS settings, you can change your appearance, so you can change where it is. You can change the theme to dark mode if you want, which I'm going to do. Here you can get refer a friend. We can get three months instantly if some of your friends signs up. Here you can look at all the different apps, such as Nord Layer, Nord Locker, and Nord Pass. Here you can interact with your auto renewal. To sign up Nord VPN for up to 74% off, you can do so in the link in the description or the pinned comment. And if you found value in this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.